Create slide deck content within minutes using Chat GPT and PowerPoint. In this video, I will show how to leverage Chat GPT to produce relevant content and then how to integrate it into PowerPoint using Microsoft Word. Let's get started. Within Chat GPT, you want to be as specific as possible when writing your prompt. For instance, if you went to your doctor and said, I have a pain, can you help me? Your doctor wouldn't be able to help because they have so little information. Generative AI functions very much the same. The better the prompt, the better the results. First, I'm going to provide a scenario and then prompt ChatGPT for the slide content. I will write, I'm a gardener in the Midwest interested in native plants for my landscape. I'm giving a presentation to a local garden club about how to incorporate native wildflowers into flower beds. Create slides with bulleted points describing the benefits of using native plants in one's yard. Once ChatGPT has generated slide content, you continue to prompt for more slide content. Here I will write, now provide data and statistics that support the benefits of using native plants. Now add slides explaining the different types of wildflowers in the Midwest and the best growing conditions. Now add a slide listing five top pollinators benefiting from wildflowers. Now add a slide listing the five top books about native plants in the Midwest. If ChatGPT ever stops in the middle of generating content, it just means it hit its character limit. All you need to do is prompt it to keep going and it will start again from where it left off. Once you are happy with the amount of content generated, copy the text and paste it into Microsoft Word. At this point, you want to check the content for accuracy. It is well known that ChatGPT does generate content that isn't true or doesn't even exist. So this is an important step. Next, you want to prepare the content so it can be imported into PowerPoint. The heading styles in the style gallery on the home tab determines where content will go on the slide. For your slide titles, apply heading one, and you can select multiple slide titles by pressing Ctrl or Command when highlighting. For your lists, apply headings two through six. The heading number corresponds with the indent level of the list. Here's a table matching the levels with the headings. And here's a master slide layout matching the levels and headings. You can also do this in outline view and apply the headings using the drop-down menu. Use whichever option is easiest for you. Once you've finished, save the file. In Windows, you can save it as a normal .docx file. However, in Mac OS, you need to save the file as an RTF file or rich text file. Now open PowerPoint and create a new presentation. If you plan to use a specific template, create the new presentation from that template first. Now in the Home tab, click the small drop-down arrow next to the New Slide button. From the drop-down menu, choose Import from Outline or just Outline on a Mac. Navigate to the file location, click the OK button, and PowerPoint will process the content. Once complete, you can apply different slide layouts. Or if you aren't using a template, use the designer option to add visual interest. Continue watching for more slide design tips and tricks.